Hi, this is Heather. Today's video is going to be on how to do the knit stitch. And I have several stitches cast on. And let me show you where the yarn needs to be. You might hear the term with yarn in front. And so actually if you just want to take it off to the side so it's out of your way. And your right needle is going to go in this first loop and it's going to go under the top needle. Let's do that again. Your right needle goes into this loop underneath the top needle. Just think of it as an X from what you see from above. And now I'm going to wrap the yarn around my hand. We don't want too much yarn there. Okay. I have another video on how, how I hold the yarn if you're interested in watching that. So I have my right needle in place. I'm going to take the yarn, your working yarn, which is what it's called, from your right side to your left, go around the bottom needle, and this yarn that you just wrapped around is going to fall beneath this top needle. Here it is above. That yarn that's moving and it's going to come underneath. And at that point hold the needles together and you're going to slide the left needle above the bottom. And that's your first stitch. I'll try to show you from different angles. See, so yeah, I'm going to take this tail and put it in the middle so it's not in my way. We're going to do that again. Take the right needle, go into the next loop, go under the left. I'm going to take the yarn, the working yarn, from your right side to your left, over the bottom needle. That yarn you just wrapped around is going to fall underneath this needle if you just hold it loosely. And you can see it. At that point, when that yarn is underneath that top needle, keep the needles together. And you're going to slide it, slide the left needle up the bottom. And that's your second stitch. And we're going to do another knit stitch. Your right needle goes into the loop under the left needle. Take your working yarn from your right side to your left over the bottom needle. The yarn you just wrapped around is going to fall beneath the needle on top, your left needle. And you can see it there. And I'll just keep the needle in this view. You're going to slide this left one up. As you can see, the right tip is going to catch that. And that's how you finish your stitch. Now we'll do that again. Your right needle goes into the loop under the left needle. Take your yarn from your right side to your left over that bottom needle. That yarn you just wrapped around, if you hold this top needle loose, it will go under that needle. And I'll hold it in this view. This left needle is going to continue up and over the bottom needle. I'll show you the underneath view and you can see how the tip of the needle catches the working yarn you wrapped around originally. And that is your fourth stitch. And then we'll do that again. Your right needle goes into the loop under the left needle. Take your yarn from your right side to your left. That yarn you just wrapped around is going to fall beneath this top needle. Even if you have to just bring the left needle up and over it until you're more fluid where it automatically will happen, you can do that. And this is the underneath view. This top needle, your left needle is going to go is going to go up and it's going to catch that stitch. And now again you're going to go 
into your loop underneath the left needle, wrap the yarn from right to left, the yarn you just wrapped around is going to fall underneath this top needle if you have to bring it up and over the yarn you just wrapped around that's fine until you're more fluid like I said now this top needle is just going to ride up the lower one and it's going to catch that stitch and then you take it off and this is what it looks like in a normal slow pace and then I'll do another row to show you more just so you know what it looks like without all the stops because I am showing a couple different angles when I'm sh showing you the instructions Okay, we have three more for this row, and then I'll slow down again. Insert the needle underneath the left. Wrap the yarn from your right side to your left. Wrap it around the bottom needle. That yarn is going to fall under it. If you need to lift the left needle over it, that's fine. And there it is. Put your needles together at this point, and then just go, your, bot, your top needle will just go all the way up it and the tip will catch the stitch and then you're going to take it off and I'll just show you the normal view insert your needle, wrap it around that needle, that yarn you wrapped around will fall beneath the top needle go all the way up and your stitch is complete insert your right needle Wrap it around. The yarn you wrapped around will fall beneath the needle on top. Oops. Do that again. Wrap the yarn. It will fall beneath this top needle. Put the needles together and just go all the way up. And you just take your needle out and we're going to switch rows and you can straighten it out you can bring all the stitches down if you need to and this first stitch will always be loose that's not anything that's not anything that you've done wrong but it will always be loose and you don't have to worry about it because you'll be taking care of it it's the first thing you're going to do here so we're going to insert the needle your yarn will be off to your right. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my finger. And then we're ready to go. Wrap the yarn from right to left. The yarn is below the top needle. Oops. Slippery needles. And then we're going to bring it there. And let's do that again. Right needle under the left. Wrap the yarn from right to left. Even if you hold this top needle not even against the bottom needle, that yarn will wrap around. It automatically will go below the needle. And bring it through. That's the part I always had trouble with when I started, so I just want to exaggerate that a little. We're going to go in. Wrap the yarn from right to left, hold that left needle loosely and the yarn will fall below it. Keep these needles together, top one will go up and over to complete the stitch. Then we'll do another. Wrap the yarn Hold this left needle loosely and the yarn you wrapped around that's right there will fall beneath that needle. There we go. Now 
Then we do that again. Insert the right needle. Wrap the yarn from right to left and over the bottom. That yarn will fall. Keep the needles together. Go up. And this is what it looks like from the back side. You're to the left of this loop here. And when you come, and it's hard to see, you'll be to the left of the stitches coming off. And then we'll go in from right to left, wrap the yarn, hold the left needle loosely if you need to, and let the yarn drop. Keep the needles together. It's to the left of the loop here. And you're going to bring it underneath and take the stitch off. Insert the right needle underneath the left, wrap the yarn around. Hold the needles together. And we'll do it again. Insert the right needle under the left, wrap the yarn from right to left. That working yarn you just wrapped around will fall beneath the top one. Keep the needles together. Slide the top one over the bottom. And there's our next stitch. And we'll try a couple more. Insert the right needle under the left. Wrap the yarn from right to left. Underneath the needle that's underneath there. And we're going to bring it from back to front. Insert the needle. Wrap the yarn around from right to left. Keep the needles together and slide them up and over the bottom. And that is how you do the knit stitch. And I hope that helps. Let me know if there's any questions. Thank you.